This is Admin Alex from Texas in July. And you're watching punkvideosrock.com. Hey guys, Robert Herrera here with punkvideosrock.com. We're hanging out backstage at the House of Blues in Hollywood with Alex and Adam of Texas in July. How are you guys doing? Good, how, how are, are you? you? Doing good, doing good. <laughs> How's this tour been treating you guys? It's it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's cool. We're playing to a lot of new crowds, people that haven't heard us yet, which is always fun. Um, I feel like we're gaining a lot of, you know, fans who just, like, more sit back and just listen and absorb the show, which is really cool. Like, we're yeah. used to people just, you know, going crazy all the <laughs> time. But, so it's different for, like, not playing for a metal crowd, but it's fun, it's a challenge, and it's something that we like. Yeah. New fans, like yeah. anyone who doesn't know us, they half of them, most of them have no idea who we yeah. are. I mean, it's pretty cool to, you know, reach out. Maybe if they like metal, they'll they'll dig it and buy the has record. It, or has something. it been a really good reception for you guys? Uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, some nights uh, have been you know less less responsive than others, but it all depends on yeah. you know the town, the you know the atmosphere, how it is. So. Cool. Um, you guys are from Pennsylvania, yeah. um, so how did the name come about, Texas in July? Um, yeah. Alright, we were, <laughs> we were all sitting in the basement trying to think of band names because that's like one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> we like got off topic and we were, we were totally stumped and we got off topic and we started talking about like family vacations, vacations. that we've been on. And like we kind of went around the circle and then Christian, our guitar player, was just like, I went to Texas in July and it was really hot and we were like, Whoa. nothing hotter. Yeah, we were like, say that again. And it's easy to spell. It's easy to remember. So easy to make fun of. Easy to make fun of. <laughs> <laughs> you guys recently uh, released One Reality. Uh, could you let us know about that record? That record, it's it's has like the same elements of our last CD called I Am. Um, the throughout, like it's the technicality has its moments, but it's like up and down. It's more. Some songs are a little more laid back, like it's. And some songs are just straight shred. Like there's, there's pretty much we wrote a song for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's a very dynamic record. It, it's pretty much a record that you sit back and just kind of get lost in, close your eyes and jam it. You know what I mean? Like it's a song for everybody. Like I said. Do you guys have a current single out for it? Um, the the well the CD is out, mm -hmm. but we released two tracks before the CD dropped, and okay. uh, the the single was actually called Magnolia. Okay. And the other track that dropped was called A Thousand Lies. Magnolia is a song pretty much lyrically you take each song how you want. Like they're, the title of the album is One Reality because they're based off of real situations. Mm -hmm. So like Magnolia, take it as you want, but it's, I take it as like you've had like problems, someone backstabbed you or maybe girlfriend problem, yeah. I don't know. It's like a song where you're kind of just saying your final words, getting your closure okay. over a situation. And lyrically, like that, that really stands out to me because I know a lot of people have gone through stuff like that where they just need that closure, and it like it's just kind of speaking your final it's very words. Introspective. Yeah. It's very like self-reflective, introspective. You know, just going back, thinking about life. It's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, this is you guys are halfway into this tour. Um, after this tour, you guys have uh, the Screaming Prayer tour yes. with uh, Norma Jean. Norma Jean. Um, a bunch of great bands. Uh, Sleeping Giant, The Great Commission, uh, I the Breather. Who else is on it? You say the Chariot. Are these a lot of bands that you guys haven't toured Close with yet, eyes. or have you yeah, guys toured with them yet? Yeah, we haven't toured with any of the bands yet. Actually, um, growing up, we listened to you know the Chariot, Norma Jean. So it's pretty cool to be you know touring with them. Yeah. Same with Bayside and Silverstein. Yeah. Like I I listened to Bayside in like eighth grade, so it's cool to like nice. finally be on a tour with them and never thought it would happen it's pretty it's pretty yeah. sweet and on a lot of these tours me personally i don't listen to much music so i don't know a lot of bands and like this tour i've never heard a song by any of them and mm -hmm. when we go on now bayside's one of my favorite bands because of this last yeah. two weeks of just seeing them every night like they're so sick so, so it's like it's awesome to actually meet new bands that you've never even heard that yeah, end exactly. up being top of the list to you. Exactly. You know? It's so awesome. saying you don't really listen to music so how did you get involved into music um I started out with Slipknot. Okay. Yeah, and then like Metallica when I was like probably yeah. 13. ACDC. Yeah, ACDC. Me and him <laughs> yes. uh, grew up, and it's like since age two we've been like just jamming together. And Not two. Well, <laughs> <laughs> since we basically <laughs> shared the same diaper. <laughs> yeah, we've been, but, uh, we've been best friends for a long time. Nice. But we grew up together playing music and covering songs, and then over the years went from ACDC, Green Day, to Slipknot. 
Metallica, <laughs> and then Haste the Day yeah. was one of the first covers. And then since then, I was like, man, I really like this genre. And then I got That's the awesome. opportunity to join this band, and we all kind of came together and just fell in love with writing music. And But I'm not, I don't really listen to music mm -hmm. much, but I love writing it and playing it. That's and good. Yeah, find I like I find inspiration in pictures and like movie soundtracks. I love okay. movie soundtracks. Nice. Yeah. Very moving. Yeah. Nice. Very, Very emotional music yeah. itself, you know, dynamics. Yeah. Cool. So what else do you guys have planned out for the rest of the year so far? After this tour, we have a month off. All of June we have off and we're very excited about that. Like I I think ever since we started this band, we haven't had uh June off because like me and him were the last two in high school and like at the end of every school year, we would just go on tour right away, and it would end in June, of course. Exactly. You guys are being very loud. <laughs> Mostly you. Sorry. This is Christian. <laughs> it's the rest of our guys. Man, I don't know what's going on right yeah, now, but uh, what was I saying? I have no idea yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, June. June. Yeah, we got June off, and it's going to be like the first June off. We're excited for beautiful weather. You know, hanging out with families. Always and fun. gather our thoughts for, for uh, Scream the Prayer because the drives on that are like you leave the venue at midnight and you drive until you get to the venue at two the next day, every night. So I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to shower, probably never. Probably you know, never. like gotta start getting used when I'm going to gonna sleep, sleep sitting up, you know, like <laughs> I'm stoked. <laughs> gotta get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for hanging out with us for a bit. Do you guys want to give out any last, uh, last words to the fans or the viewers? Uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, if we if this tour hasn't hit your city yet, come out and check it out. Uh, the shows are always a good time, always good people, you know, good friendships. Everyone's very nice and sociable, so I'm sure you'll you'll make some new friends. And check us out on Scream the Prayer. There's yeah. a lot of great bands on that. Yeah. Pick up uh, the new record, One yeah. Reality. It's in stores. It's been out for like two weeks now. So if you don't have it, get it. Thank you.